Little Cook Kids how-to videos with Science Sam, Ken Oakla's wacky scientist. This episode we make a mini bow and arrow. Hi kids, I'm Science Sam, Ken Oakla's wacky scientist, and today we are going to make a bow and arrow out of popsicle stick, floss, and a Q-tip. So in order to start this project, let's show you what you need. You will need a popsicle stick, obviously, a Q-tip, or as many as you want to make. You will need floss, and you will need water. And last but not least, now this one is a you will definitely need parental supervision for this, so get your parent before you start making this. You're going to need a knife, a sharp knife. So, let's do some science, or bow and arrowing, one of the two. Alright, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is take a popsicle stick and your knife, and you're just going to want to cut notches in it. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to cut your notches here, 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 here. At, you're gonna have four notches. You're gonna put them both at the one end, at the end of your popsicle stick. So after that, you're gonna to wanna to take your popsicle stick and put it into some water for an hour. So you don't have to watch this video for an hour. We went ahead and did that same very thing. We took a popsicle stick and we stuck it in water for a good hour, hour or so. Just gonna go ahead and dry this off with my lab coat. All right, next, what you're gonna wanna do is take your floss, cut off a piece of it, and then you're just gonna wrap it around your And wrap it around your popsicle stick. You're going to want to tie it off. Or maybe you can tie it off. Tie it off to one end. Okay, so now that you've got one side tied, you're going to want to bend the stick just so slightly, just to where it gets a little bit of a bend in it. And then you're gonna wanna tie it off. Next, you're gonna have a little bit of an excess string. So just have your parent Cut that off. Right there's your bow. And there's your bow. Now to make the arrows is very very simple. Remember I said the Q-tips. Take a Q-tip and you're just going to cut off one end of it. Now the reason you can make multiple of these arrows if you want 
What I always find easier to do so you can get it in the string is make cut a little notch or a little line at the end of your arrow, at your bow, or at the end of your arrow, you know, right. And then that. Now these are good until the wood dries, then after that you may have to soak them for a little bit longer for them to retain their shape. But, and that is how you make a wooden, or a popsicle stick, bow, and arrow. Well, wasn't that fun? Hope you enjoyed this episode of Chemical Kids How-To Videos, and this is Science Sam. Sciencing off.